What cleaning business documents you, do you need to get residential clients? Hi, Steve Hansen here, co-founder of MyHouseCleaningBiz.com. You know, one of, the, one of the first documents that we need is a business license. Now, this is going to depend on where you live. Uh, not all states require that you have a, that you have a license. Uh, in fact, you know, some will require you to have a service, uh, service contractor license. So what you can do is just call your your local uh, your state's uh, small business administration, and they'll uh, be able to help you out and tell you if you actually need a license uh, for your location. Now, the other documentation documents that we need is that we're going to need insurance. Uh, very important uh, because when we're going into homes and, and cleaning them, we want to make sure that we have some general liability. So, and what general liability does is it actually uh, protects you. You know, if the client gets injured or if you were to uh, do some uh, damage to some property, you know, with uh, uh, improper cleaning methods or something. Now, something that you may want to think about, you know, when you're cleaning homes is that the homeowners may give you a key from time to time or, or some other way of getting into the home. But if they do give you a key, you, you may want to add uh, loss key prevention onto your policy, your insurance policy. That will protect you. So if the key does get lost, then you can have the, have the all locks rekeyed. You know, in some cases, that could be pretty expensive. So keep that in mind when you're looking at your uh, looking at your general liability insurance. Something else too is that uh, your auto insurance. You're going to have to have proof of that. You know, because uh, you or your staff are going to be driving from home to home if you don't have company cars. Uh, and you know, we need to make sure that that everybody's covered. Uh, so in generally, what you'll have is what they call a hired or non-owner auto insurance coverage. Uh, so talk to your insurance agent about that and they'll be able to help you. Uh, on some of the larger residential cleaning companies that have fleets of vehicles, uh, in some uh, instances, uh, some of the states may require that they have a commercial auto license, uh, auto insurance. So uh, that's really the difference between a small and a large company. Now something that you may want to think about is uh, a type of bond, you know, and um, a uh, bond that you'd think about for residential cleaning is a, a theft bond. So if for whatever reason something were to be uh, uh, taken from the home and they're accusing the cleaner of doing that, um, you know, that would be beneficial to you that you would have uh, some, some sort of bond that would help cover that loss if you can't recover it. So uh, again, talk to your insurance agent about that and uh, they'll be, they'll be uh, more than happy to help you out and give you the right uh, coverage that you need. Now, one of the last things I want to talk about is workman's compensation. Workman's compensation, you know, that's there to help cover injured workers. And, uh, you know, I've talked to many cleaning business owners, and there's some that live in some states that aren't required to have any workman's comp, you know, until they hit a certain level, a certain amount of employees. You know, in some cases, it could be three employees or five employees. But uh, my take on that is that I think that the, as soon as you hire your first employee, you should get workman's compensation. Uh, that way you know that they're covered uh, because the issue is is that if they were to get hurt while cleaning the home um, you know they're going to probably come after your company to pay the medical bills so that's something to consider when you're thinking about well how much money can you save by not getting workman's comp well I don't think there's really a savings there if if that were to happen to you and then the, the employee comes after you to pay the medical bills so keep that in mind but uh, that's all I have for this quick tip uh, hope you liked it, and if you did, go ahead and click on the like and share button. And um, as usual, you're going to find uh, you know hundreds and hundreds of cleaning videos on how to start and build a successful cleaning business uh, on our YouTube channel. So go ahead and subscribe to our channel. And uh, until next time, we'll see you.